Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold Random Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it all the way to Victory Road, and now we're going to take on Victory Road. As you can see, you can actually fly there, so I don't need a Waterfall user. However, you do need a Strength user. I think it's all you need is Strength. I gave it to Kitty again. Um, I can always replace. I can always uh, basically go back to Blackthorn, delete it, and uh, add Blaster when I need to. So I figured that'd be the best option for now, uh, because I want to have a team of six here. I don't want. I, I want to have a full team. Because of a battle coming up in this video, that's actually quite important. And, uh, I like to have a full team of six for that instead of, uh, you know, wasting a team member on a move like that. And I don't want to push it this way. I want to push it the other way. So as you can see, uh, as most Ricky Roads are, it's a lot of strength puzzles. Uh, seems to be always the trend for them to have something like that. So, uh, I'm going to use Repel, obviously, to, uh, prevent my, prevent random wild battles all over the place. And, uh, that'll be good. Just an item right in the middle here. Now, surprisingly, we're not going to find any single trainers in Victory Road. There is a reason for that. The game actually does give a legit reason for why there are no trainers. Um, this is not the right way to go. I was fooled. It was a lie. Um, but basically, we're going to have a... Uh, so we don't have to worry about that. Just one at the end that's going to end up being, like I said, very important. So... Uh, I think if I jump down here, I'm just gonna back to the beginning, aren't I? Yeah, okay. I was, I, I had hoped that there'd be like a place to get items, but I wasn't really paying attention, I guess. Um, yeah, whatever. And then, like I said, uh, I'll be training the Pokemon in between videos. Probably gonna keep Lizzie, probably gonna not use Snorlax. Uh, so, there's that, I guess. And, basically, um, yeah, that's the plan. And I'll train Altaria. I'll, I'll get Altaria as well. Don't know if I'm going to use it during the LE4. Um, not really the best idea to bring a dragon against a dragon master, because dragon's weak to dragon. So, uh, in general, that could, you, you guys can see how that could backfire. Like, you know, very easily, actually. Uh, is there an item here that I'm missing? You know what? You know what? In times of doubt, in times of doubt, there's always the Dowsy Machine. So, uh, anything? Nope, okay. We can move on, then. Move on, you know what? Get out of here. There we go. Uh, we move on to our, ex our existences. Uh, Victory Road's actually not that long, so that being said, this is probably going to be a short video. I'm definitely going to include the train montage in this episode as opposed to the next one. And uh, probably going to be a shorter video just because Victory Road I don't expect to take forever and a half. Uh, it looks like I should be using strength to come down from here, so not going up there. Because, uh, you know, with it being no trainers and with me having the ability to repel everything, it just, you know, does obviously simplify things in the end. I'm getting all these revives that are really not going to help me in the end. But, uh, I guess that's the way things go when you're me. I don't know. Uh, that item, how do we get it? I want to know this. Uh, I actually think there's a puzzle where you have to drop down from above to get it. That's kind of a, or, or there's like a, looks like you can use the ladder there. So I'll have to get it from above. Cool. Uh, can't go there either. So, as you can see, I haven't done Victory Road in a long time, so I don't quite remember. But yeah, it is a, it is one of these uh, falling down puzzles. I'm going to burn through all these repels in, like, minutes. In mere minutes. And yeah, so this is just, like, demo to falling. Ow! You just broke your neck. GG. Um, okay, obviously, if I push it more than once, I'm not going to be able to get that item. So what you want to do... Yeah, 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 I know. I can move boulders around with my awesome strength. Uh, what are you? So I know there's some good TMs in here. So there's some very, very good TMs in here. Including one that's going to be a very long and hard decision as to who I'm going to give it to. Um, we'll be getting that in this video. Because I'm not very decided yet, so I'm probably not going to give it to someone yet. Uh, if I fall down here, it's not going to leave me anywhere useful, is it? Uh, no, just right back here. Okay. Gotta check every hole. It sounded dirty. There's rock. There's a thing where I need rock smash up there, isn't there? Oh, well, I guess I don't need it, though just walk right past it so that was not hard it wasn't difficult in the slightest actually well that's always good uh how do i get down there i guess i have to go all the way around huh well it actually looks oh i do need someone that learns rock smash and i should have put a repel on oops well yeah yeah i know you're an ellie kid cool blah 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 go away i'm just gonna run i'm not gonna bother wasting time fighting right now um no, I forgot. No, no, blah, blah. Ha, ha. I'll kill you. Be right back.
Anyways, I'll backtrack to get that that rock smash item, uh, the thing with the rock smash. I'll, I'll backtrack to get that later. I, I don't see any reason to do it now. All right, two holes, two choices. Which one do I fall down? I did the lower one. It seems like I should probably have done the upper one. Yes, indeed, I should have done the upper one. Uh, well, can I get back at all? It doesn't look like it. Looks like I... Oh, shit. Well, I actually went to the exit. <laughs> well, I, I guess there's kind of more to explore, but uh, I, I sort of ended up, you know... Uh... Anyway, the rifle battle, basically, is what I've been referring to. So I guess we're just going to get to that right away instead. Um, because that's, that's why I didn't want to bring a sixth Pokemon that was uh, just an HP, uh, HM slave. Because it's going to be a six on six fight here. And uh, got to make sure you know I'm ready for this thing. I guess it's... He's not been that good lately, but he's no slouch. He can definitely, you know, give us a run for our money if we, if we worry about it. But yeah, the reason there's no trainers in here is because he beat all of them. So apparently he's gotten pretty better. Um, I do have Fire Blast, though, against the Sneasel, so uh, that's going to be easy pickings for the Nino King, that's for sure. So uh, down goes the Sneasel, I'm sure, right? There's no way you're going to be able to live it. Nope. Um, his team still isn't that good. It's not the last time we're going to see the rival either, so it's going to get better. But uh, Kadabra is scary. I don't want to fight it. Um, I guess the best option to go into would be... I, I'm tempted to go into Peekle, but I know it can't take hits very well. Fen can, though, and I have the Shadow Ball for, for that, so we're going to go into Fen. Plus, you know, Peekle's already leveled up a bit. Unfortunately, there is no way to... Uh... Ha! You're disabled failed. As you, um, by the way, I did teach Fen uh, Wish, so I actually have a way to heal Pokemon now, which is pretty useful. So, Shadow Ball is going to do pretty well, um, just going to completely wipe out the Kadabra, so, there you go. I think our team at this point is pretty good against, uh, I I'm not too worried about this fight. It is a bit scary, I guess, but, uh, I should be okay. Uh, Haunter, nothing, not too big of a threat. The best thing I can go into to take it would be Genius. Because, uh, the Steel will resist any kind of ghost shenanigans. So, we're just going to go for the curse. That's fine. Lower your health by half. It's going to do some damage to Empoleon. But as you can see, this is going a lot better than the fight before. Uh, at this point, the rival just really isn't a threat anymore. I, I do feel like I kind of worried about this for nothing. So, we're just going to go for the Surf. Um, just, you know, choice specs, Empoleon, Surf. Going to do some pretty major damage. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to switch out definitely from here because my Empoleon is going to be only a bit at half health. And it is kind of slow, so I don't want it to be taking any unnecessary hits. So, uh, just, you know, I'm not even barely getting that much experience anymore from this guy. He just really is not that good. It's just the truth. Alright, Magneton, you're cool and all, but, uh, I definitely have someone to take you on. Um, as much as I want to be like, okay, PK, you know, actually, PK does resist Blaney. I do have the, uh, Fire Blast. Or I can go to Kitty. Choices, choices, you know, we might as well... I can't be... Why can't I switch out? Oh, shit! I am stuck in here! Because of the Magnet Pole! Oh, God, I didn't think of that! Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, I can go for the Surf, though. Luckily, I'm first. I don't think it's going to be able to have a choice spec Surf from Empoleon, but... If it went first and went for, like, a Lightning move, it probably would have killed me then, because I also have the Curse on me, so... Oh! oh, oh. That was not expected! That was not expected at all. That actually kind of worried me. All right, there's nothing the gold bat's gonna be able to do that can kill me though. Even if infant pursuits, I resist it, so I'll be okay there. Uh, once again, I think I feel like Fen is the best bet to go into because I can just go for a psychic and do some major damage. So we'll go into Fen and uh, wow, for all my talk about how the rival's scary, that was pretty scary. I actually was legitimately worried about that for a moment. <sighs> That, that could have been disastrous right there. Thank goodness I was faster. Just thank goodness I was faster. Magnet po That was act. You know? You know, Mr. Rival? That was actually a pretty good combo. Not gonna lie. You, you've gotten a bit better, I guess. Anyway, for alligators here, uh, obviously his toughest Pokemon. But, uh... I should be okay. I'm not gonna risk, like, a crunch or anything. I'm gonna go straight into Tamal. The Ice Punch is worrisome. But I also have, you know... Well, I don't really have anything that's that great. But I was figuring he was gonna go for the crunch. It's not going to do too much damage. Or it's going to crit and actually do quite a bit of damage. Uh, the Ice Punch is worrisome, though. I don't want to, like, lose Tamal. Um, I'm going to go for the Sky Uppercut. Just go straight for the kill. 
I feel like that's just the better option, because it's going to do more damage than Mega Drain is going to do at this point. So, that actually hurt. Okay, Slash is going to hurt a bit, too. If I can hit... Uh, if I miss this, though, it's going to be dead. I don't, I don't know if I want to take that chance. But I don't really have anything that wants to switch into a Feraligator, though. That's the thing, because depending on his move, it could really hurt. I'm going to go for it. Okay, we're fine. I, I feel like that was the least risky option. Thank goodness he didn't go for Ice Punch, or, or Ice, it's Ice Fang only, so... I probably would have lived it, but uh, it could have been scary. I guess I didn't... I, I guess the rival... The rival's more scarier than I thought. I don't really have anything very good to fight uh, his rival, the rival right now, because... Uh, unfortunately, the lack of Electric type, and uh, all my Grass types are obviously weak to his Ice Punch, so... Well, you know... It ended out okay. Mother, I know you love us, but, uh, you need to stop calling me all the time for items. I don't need them anymore. I guess, you know, fine. Free items are free items. Anyway, that's it for the rival. We took him down, but, uh, we still have more of this area to explore, so we should probably go explore it. That would be, uh, probably in our best interest. Gonna sort of make our way around this hole, grab this item. A rare candy. Always good. Um, and we're gonna fall down the hole now. And... I'm hoping I can make our way back to the beginning-ish areas, because, uh, I believe actually if I go down here, yeah, I can actually make my way around that way. And there's the Earthquake! So, Earthquake! I am not sure in the slightest who I want to teach Earthquake to, because you only get one, and there are a few good candidates. In fact, Altaria is actually an another very good candidate. Um, being that I can use his physical attack, and it would be a good move to hit the Steel types with, I can also teach a Flamethrower, though, so there's that option as well. So as you can see, you know, choices are not the easiest things. Is there any where I want to go, like over here? Did I miss anything else other than that area down there? It doesn't look like it. So we'll go ahead, grab that item we missed, and uh, then we'll make our way out of Victory Road, and then prepare ourselves for the LA4. Like I said, train montage will be at the end of this video, um, which is awesome. So uh, we'll have that to look forward to. And then in the next episode, we're going to be able to start fighting the LA4. Don't know if I'm going to get all of them in one video, because, you know, I could end up just, you know... It's either going to be all in one video, or it's going to be, a, you know, a, a two, a, you know, the first four, and then the champion and credits in the next one, and then, you know, some post le 4 stuff that I can do afterwards. I was hoping I could make it to the ladder, guys. Come on. A Rotom! I guess if I ever found one of these, I would consider a legendary, even though it's not quite, but, uh, yeah. I should have just fought it. Oh, I went to up the ladder! Fail. I know you. I'll just fight this thing. More experience. I need to level up anyway, you know? <laughs> Gotta be training Victory Cave for a while. But some of you might not have noticed that I called it Victory Cave, which is just dumb and stupid. So, I'm not quite sure why I'm keeping all this in. Yeah, it's gonna be a short enough video anyway. I may as well just, you know, keep it all in. There's no reason not to, really. So... We can actually do this right this time, uh, and actually fall down the right hole. That would be nice. That sounds dirty every time I say it. Even though it's pretty much a literal interpretation of what we're doing, it still sounds very, very, very much dirty. It's not like it takes that long to get back here when we have repels on, and repels, repels, repels. They make the world go round. Alright, so the hole we want to fall into this time is, um, the one up here. So we're gonna fall in this one, and now we can grab the item, and it's going to be an HP up. That's actually not too bad. Do I have any other status? Uh, I think I used all the ones I had in here last. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. I have a regular potion in here, just like way back in the inventory here. Give HP up. I want to use it. Uh, we will give it to... Peacole. Because leftovers recovery is always good on him. All right. So besides the rock smash item, which we can't get yet, um, and which we'll get in a little bit, because I'll we'll build this, get one of our Pokemon in a little bit there. Uh, and by the way, I'm going to teach Kitty Blastburn again off camera, so, uh, just, just keep that in mind, I guess. Oh, come on. Do, do I, I don't want to use another repel. The, the exit's right there! It's right there! Alright. Well, at least I'll probably get the level 41 in the meantime, but can we make it out? Okay, never mind, we made it out. Excellent. And here we are. The intense music is starting. Really can't get past any of these trees. Just when you could. Well, that's disappointing. I'm just gonna. It's it, we're here though. The Indigo Plateau. Wait, wait. It said something. 
the ultimate goal for trainers, the LE4 awaits inside. We have ourselves a little mart and a little shop to sort of uh, prepare ourselves. Up here is the guy who's going to be like, hey, oh, is this just, I think this is just like a, okay, it's the one like the warehouse club. So they have like all the facilities here, but we don't care about any of these. What do you have to say, Mr. Dude Guy? No, I'm, oh, you can actually be, you can actually fly out, I guess. So, um, oh, is it not a thing? Can I just like talk to you and teleport? Is that a thing? Oh, I guess not. So, you're kind of redundant, Mr. Guy. There's rankings here. Um, oh, hey, there's actually rankings here of like the normal Pokemon defeated, Pokemon caught using Pokeballs, hatch from eggs, fishing, number of Pokemon defeated. Look at this is actually pretty. Cool. That's a lot. That's a lot of Pokemon defeated. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, what about? And then I guess global ranking would be like the same thing. Oh, we can actually, okay, so that's all of these things. Cool. Didn't realize they actually had a machine here. Is it only in here, or is it somewhere else? Anyway. This guy is where we go to fight the LE4, but we're not ready for that yet. That's going to be coming later. I'm going to heal my Pokemon, I'm going to go buy some stuff from the shop, I'm going to grab a Rock Smasher guy, and uh, do that. In case you guys are wondering, by the way, I now have access to fly here, as the guy mentioned. So uh, now I have no trouble getting here. I don't need to have uh, strength to get here anymore, which is good. And uh, it's basically just going to be preparing all the Pokemon for this a basement downstairs. Probably just going to be for buying stuff, but... Uh, I'm going to have to debate how I want to use my money here. Full Restores and Hyper Potions are also are always very good options. I'm going to probably want to get a bunch of Hyper Potions for this. Um, obviously, I don't want any... Max Potions are just kind of not needed. If it's 200, 200... Only, only Blissey is not going to be that. And I don't even know if I'm going to bring Blissey there. There's like four Pokemon I'm dead set on bringing. The other two I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to have to still think about that a bit. But here's what we can buy there. I'll have to decide what I'm going to buy later. And uh, this downstairs just going to be the normal downstairs. Yeah, it just brings back the Pokemon Center music. What? I've never been down here, have I? I have never... The entire game, and I never went down to the Wi-Fi thing out the PAL pad. The entire freaking game, I never got the PAL... I'm at like 45-something episodes in, and I never got the... What is wrong with me? Well, you know, it's a short video, so there we go. We get the time to talk about that now. Uh, PAL pad, you can basically register your friend codes and uh, all that kind of fun stuff. So, uh, multiplayer... What? You're, you, you look different, Mr. Person here. But obviously, I can't use anything Wi-Fi in this game, so uh, I'm surprised I never went down there and showed that off. That's kind of really funny. Anyway, gonna grab the Rock Smash guy, bring it back. Anyway, we're back in Victory Road. I'll just go ahead and throw a Repel on here, just because I don't want to waste time. And uh, we'll just quickly grab this last item, and then it's just gonna be a train montage until the video's over uh, to prepare ourselves for the Elite Four. Oh, you guys don't know how excited I am to get to the Elite Four here. It is going to be intense. I, I definitely think this is going to be a very interesting, interesting moment. I'm glad I'm not getting into wild battles here. Don't, I probably jinx this last one. It's going to be a battle now. Ready? Watch. Right? Battle? Probably, yes. Wow. I'm surprised. But TM79, uh, Dark Pulse. Not sure if anyone I have can learn it. Actually, um, can Nido King learn it? I doubt it. I would be very surprised if he could learn it, but that would be actually something I would consider. Um... That would be interesting. Can you? No. Sadly not. Drat, that would have been actually kind of good. But, uh, oh well. Can't win them all, I guess. So, guys. This is, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign out now, even though I know there's gonna be a train montage after, but, uh, this is Lucky7DX signing out in the next episode. A brave team of six takes on the Elite Four. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Alright, so I decided to start training Lotad because, you know, basically, I'm going to add him to the team after the Elite Four, so I figured I'd get up to 45. However, he's going to be a bit different in that I'm not going to level, I'm not going to evolve him to a Lombra until level 45. He's level, like, 33 right now. So, this could be a lot of me not letting him evolve because at level 45, he actually learns Energy Ball, and at level 45 as a Lombra, he learns Hydro Pump, which means that those two levels, I can get to pretty much a very strong grass and a very strong water stab. That being said, I might replace Hydro Pump with Surf. I'm not decided on that yet. Um, and also, Lotad will learn Rain Dance, which Lombre will not as well. So if I keep him as a Lotad for a while, I can basically make a very, very strong Ludicolo set. So, that's the plan for that. So, uh, see you when I evolve more Pokemon, I guess. So guys, I was out training my Pokemon when something incredible happened. Something incredible and amazing. As you can see, well, you can't really see here, but as you can see, 
I have Pokey Russ. That's right, I have caught a virus, a Pokemon I've caught a virus, which is actually a good virus. Basically, this thing is rarer than Shinies. It has one-third the chance of happening than finding a freaking Shiny, which is awesome. I'm so glad I have this. I haven't had this since Gen 4 Pearl, but, um, I got my actual main game Pearl. But, um, basically, it will double the EVs of any infected Pokemon. Um, now, for those of you who don't understand EVs, EVs are, um, not, not, not the Pokemon, um, the effort value. Which is a stat that isn't shown, but it's calculated, um, basically, depending on what kind of Pokemon you defeat in battle, you gain certain EVs, which can add to your stats on top of your base stats. Which is why you can have this sort of variation in competitive Pokemon. It's a very competitive Pokemon thing, um, but basically, long story short, this virus will make my guys get stronger faster. It won't make them stronger in the long run, it'll just make them get stronger faster. Now, the best thing about Pokerus is it can spread. Fen caught it. It's already spread to Empoleon, uh, this, it, it's already spread to these people, uh, hasn't spread to Lotad quite yet, but, um, now what happens is after a couple days, though, um, basically, there's two stages of Pokerus. You have the infected stage, which is where we're at right now, where, basically, it can spread. After a day or two, um, it's depending on the kind of strain of the virus, um, it can vary from one to four days, it's gonna go dormant, and you won't be able to spread it anymore. So what's important is I go to the Pokemon Center right now, Grab a Pokemon I'm never going to use, infect it, and keep it in the PC, where it will stay infected and never go dormant. And thus, I can spread to all the Pokemon I ever catch from now on. Um, actually, before I'm here, you actually get a special uh, cutscene if you talk to the Nurse Joy after you Pokerus. So let's go ahead and do this. I am so excited at Pokerus, guys! You don't even know I am so excited at Pokerus! Oh, this is so cool! Anyways, um... This beads getting a shiny. I don't care if it's here. We go right there. So the Pokemon, the blah blah blah. They said it grow exceptionally well. It's cool and fine and dandy. And if you head out here, I believe we're gonna get a phone call. Yes? No? I could have sworn Professor Elm calls at some point about that Pokerus. What if I call him? Uh, Professor Elm, give me a call. I have Pokerus. Tell me about it. Okay. I heard he's supposed to call, but apparently he doesn't. Whatever. Maybe it's when it goes dormant. I don't know. But, uh, anyway, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, find a Pokemon to give Pokerus to. Which one of you useless mofos wants Pokerus? Um, we're going to give it, we're going to give it to, to you. Or, right, well, who, who am I never going to, definitely never going to use? Probably you're the most likely one who I'm never going to use. So, um, we're going to give it to you. Here, just, um, you, you can go on here, right here. Uh, it'll spread to a Jason Pokemon first, so it should go to him after a battle or two. So, uh, I'm gonna go train Lotad for a little bit, and we're gonna get Pokerus to spread, and then we'll, uh, meet back there. Okay, so as we can see, Pokerus has indeed spread onto Sully now, and I believe also onto Rock, and, uh, not onto MBZ yet. So it will, so basically every battle it's gonna spread outwards. So actually, based on that progression, um, was Genius the first one to have caught it then? Maybe, because, because I don't know how Genius would have caught it, because he never, hasn't been in battle for a long time, so... I don't know! I'm not sure who caught it first. Actually, I feel like Fen's probably the one who caught it first. That would make the most sense. So, way to go, it contracting diseases, Fen! Way to go. But now that Sully has the Pokerus, I can basically put him in the box, and, uh... You'll still get the double EVs, by the way, if you have the dormant version of Pokerus. As long as you've been infected, you will always permanently get double EVs, then, which, you know, only helps you up to a point. Like I said, it just makes things faster, not stronger in the long run, just faster. So they'll get stronger in the short run, which is which is arguably better. Um, so now we're just going to move Sully into the box, and from now on, there'll be Pokerus in the box, and now I can spread it to anyone I ever catch, which is pretty awesome. So I'm sure by the time... I'm sure in this train montage I'll be showing off the dormant form of Pokerus and how well it looks like as well, um, just because I'm sure this is going to take days to do this training, so uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit then for whatever comes next. Hey, here's that uh, special message that Professor Elm gives actually about uh, Pokerus that uh, and my Skype <laughs> happens to go up the moment I start talking about Pokerus, but uh, yeah, here's the message that he gets. Uh, yeah, it's not really anything too special, just sort of visit him explaining stuff and how it's nothing to worry about. Your Pokemon aren't going to die from Pokerus, they're actually kind of better for it, so... I think if you call him here, he also has another message about Pokerus, right? Um, no, okay, maybe I read that wrong. I don't know. 
I haven't got pokers and hard gold souls over before. All right, so our little Swablu, little cotton swab, reaches level 35, which I believe is the evolutionary point, and indeed it is, and I have no reason to keep it as a Swablu, because, frankly, the increased stats and the uh, addition of a dragon typing on it is actually really useful. So this is definitely going to be a very fun Pokemon to use. Uh, arguably the weakest dragon type in the game. But, uh, it's still a dragon type and thus has a lot of nice resistances that I'm definitely going to make good use out of. He wants to learn Dragon Breath. I don't really care, but I suppose I'll just go ahead and uh, teach it Dragon Breath anyway, because there's no reason to not teach it Dragon Breath, I suppose. Also, yay! Oh, I, I, I was going to say, no, I, he already had Pokerus before. Okay, um, I'm just being confused. As you can see, very good defensive stats, by the way. Uh, pretty good speed, pretty good, yeah, it's, it's pretty well-rounded in terms of its stats, which is not bad. Um, don't really need safeguard for anything. I'm going to get rid of takedown quite soon anyway. The question I need to decide, which I'm not going to decide right now, is whether I'm going to teach this thing flamethrower and make it mixed. Hello, Wilton, I have no idea who the hell you are. Or teach it Earthquake and use my only Earthquake on it, which I don't care about battling you, sir. Um, I'm not sure if I want to give it the Earthquake, so I need a debate about that. But now that's a Dragon type, I am definitely going to give it a Dragon Stab move, namely Dragon Claw, which is going to uh, be a very... I, I could give it Draco Meteor, but I'm going to focus on his physically offensive side because it has the attack boost. Um, and I also give him Fly and Roost, so lots of TMs already on this guy. Um, I'm going to focus on the physically offensive side. I could make him a special attacker or a mixed attacker, give him Draco Meteor or Flamethrower, but Draco, uh, Dragon Claw is pretty powerful. Um, I don't know, Altaria is one of those Pokemon where I, ha I go several different movesets, and I do need to take the time to figure that out, so... Uh, I will take the time to figure that out. So, see you in a bit for more training. At long last, the on port in level 45 for Rock, the level I can finally let him evolve because he learns the move I need him to learn, which is Energy Ball, saves me a TM in the future. Although, I don't even, even remember when you get Energy Ball in this game. I don't remember at all, but I don't need, I don't need you, Mega Drain. You aren't important. Uh, I'd use Giga Drain on him, which uh, he learns via TM, but uh, not, I, only if it was the buff, to, uh, the, the buff Giga Drain, because Energy Ball is really good, 80 base power, just very standard attack. Giga Drain at 60 base power, not necessarily as good at 70 base power, doesn't make any sense not to use Giga Drain with that 70 base power. But there we go, finally can get ourselves a Lombre, we can give him Energy Ball, and at level 45 for a Lombre, he also learns Hydro Pump. So look at that, two of the best moves, his two really awesome stabs. Now, that being said, I might teach him Surf instead of Hydro Pump. It's 80 accuracy, which is like right around the point where I'm like, eh, about doing that. Um, I'll replace Hoblin for now though, because I can always replace Hydro Pump with, uh, I can always replace Hydro Pump with, with Surf at a later point. So uh, I'll keep Hydro Pump for now, I'll consider it, and uh, we'll see what I make for a decision for that. But uh, that's gonna be the final moveset for him, so after we deal with 4, I'm gonna be able to get a Water Stone, which will, uh, let me evolve him into a Ludicolo, and he will be able to join the team. Look at that, though. His stats actually aren't that bad anymore. Well, his worst special attack the Blissey, but he'll evolve again. And then he'll be even better. So he's sort of an all-around decent Pokemon. We'll see how that works. Um, all my Pokemon are level, now level 45, as you can see. So that means basically it's time to, you know, it, it's time to go do the LA4. So uh, I'm going to give you guys a rundown on the Pokemon and all the important things that happen during training. And, uh, from there, I will make my team, and next time, uh, we will go fight the LA4, so pretty awesome stuff. So, let's just go down the line, um, is there, like, a summary button I can do? If I go over here, okay, I can do summary here, so, why? Why is summary? Set level 45 for Drifflip, you learned Shadow Ball, pretty awesome. Uh, Fen, learned Future Sight, but I didn't teach it to her. Pasta King finally learns Earth Power, which is a very awesome move, it's gonna be very strong on him, very excited for that. Uh, Zortera, nothing new. Oh wait, no, no, that's that's a lie. He actually learned Crunch, so that is new. So, yay! Really, like, everyone learned a good move. It's ridiculous, but, uh, Absol learned Sucker Punch, which is gonna be a very great priority move that's, uh, gonna be stabbed dark, so it's gonna do a lot of damage, as you can see. Um, eventually I'll find a move to replace this, and I move to replace this, and then he'll be good to go. Hitmonchan, no change. 
Empoleon, no change. Uh, you, no change either. But uh, Kitty learned Flamethrower, so I replaced Lava Plume. But I decided the uh, extra 15 base power was worth the 20% chance to burn, just because, you know, Kitty's very powerful. I want to just kill things, you know? Um, is that it for all these Pokemon here? Yeah. And then over here we have Dukaya. Uh, yeah, I can access the Pokemon here too. Uh, we already know about you. Uh, Blissey has no change. You have no change either. Uh, here's Altaria's moveset. I might replace Dragon Dance with Earthquake. I I'm going to replace it with either Earthquake or Flamethrower. Or Earthquake, or Earthquake or Fire Blast, probably. Um, I mean, special attack isn't bad. His attack is better, though. So, I probably would want to go with Earthquake. I just need to really think about if anyone else could ever want Earthquake. Because I only get the one, you know? So, uh, but I'm gonna, I imagine I'm going to give him Earthquake. I'm just holding it out because I don't need it right now. I'm not gonna, be, I'm not gonna probably bring Naga to the, uh, to the LE4. If I change my mind, then I'll give it Earthquake in the meantime. Because that'll be useful against one trainer, but, uh, yeah. And then Breloom actually learned Seed Bomb, so I finally have a physical attacking move. With that 161 base attack, which is just through the freaking roof. I never knew Breloom has so much potent power on him. So, uh, he's just gonna be wrecking things now with his double stab. So, um, I'm gonna go through everything, I'm figure out which items I want. I, I, just, I could have sworn I saw that Blissey had the uh, experience share as well, I just sort of confused, but I was just, just seeing things, this optical illusion. So, um, I'm gonna figure out what I'm going to be doing, and in the next episode, we do the LA4. So, overly long training montage, go! The end. Bye bye, guys.